สวัสดีครับ and good afternoon once again today is Tuesday the 15th of June 2021 and this is the English language summary of the daily press briefing here at the CCSA so thank you first to Dr. Akisa Mai just now for the Thai language uh, briefing uh, at the end of the briefing she talked about in inclusivity how inclusive we are in taking care of the risk of COVID for all groups of persons uh, she mentioned in particular the psychiatric patients Uh, psychiatric patients, including uh, children as well, and also dis disabled uh, children as well. So, I'd like to start off first with the vaccination progress that we have for today. Uh, administered since the 28th of February until today, we have cumulative already at 6.5 million doses. Now, that's good progress in the past uh, weeks. Uh, since the first, since the 7th of June, as the first day of the national vaccination campaign, uh, we recorded as of yesterday, the 14th of June, uh, just in one day, that day, yesterday, uh, 323,060 doses. So quite a consistent number each day. Some days might have higher number of uh, doses, some days lower, but uh, approximately around three. 100,000 plus, sometimes 400,000 per day is the pace that we will aim for each day. And since the 7th of June, the first day of the mass national inoculation, we have 2.4 million doses. And as I mentioned, cumulative since the soft launch, since the beginning, the first phase, since the 28th of February, we have now vaccinated 6,511,184 million doses. So 6.5, approximately 6.5 million doses so far. Now as I mentioned yesterday, some provinces have also their statistics for vaccination. So far Phuket has, Phuket province has vaccinated 61% of the island already. So 61%, that means that they are on track uh, in to uh, vaccinate the majority of people in the island in the province in order to be prepared to open up the Phuket sandbox on the 1st of July. And in the general picture, the CCSA confirms that the vaccination progress is going according to plan and that 50 million, million people will be vaccinated by the end of the year in Thailand. Now, moving to the general situation and numbers we have for today, we have new recoveries exceeding the new confirmed case, which is good news. So new recovery today, we have 4,774. For new confirmed case, we have 3,000, as you can see on screen. Now that's a whole number, uh, 3,000. So new recoveries is around 1,007, more than the new confirmed cases. We have active cases, cases currently being treated, decreasing each day. Now it's 38,000, as you see in the green box there on top. 19 new fatalities, unfortunately, uh, for today, composed of 11 male and 8 female. The median age is uh, 77. Highest number of fatalities is in Bangkok, and 3 from Samut Prakan, 2 from Saraburi, and 1 each from the provinces of Nakhonsi, Tamarat, Prachinburi, and Yala. The top five provinces with the highest number of infections are Bangkok and peripheral area. That remains true, that remains so in the past weeks. While most cases are in critical, most cases in critical condition, critical condition are found in Bangkok with 207 cases on ventilators. And Bangkok in the most latest numbers saw the highest number infected of infected at 872. New clusters were also found in other provinces nearby Bangkok, such as Cha Cheng Sao province. Now, the, on part of the Ministry of Industry, the Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Industry recently informed about the preventive measures being taken around the factories around the country. And more details will be disclosed uh, very soon about these initiatives. In addition to Cha Seung Sao, as mentioned just now, there are also new clusters found in provinces, in factories in provinces, such as Samut Prakan. And also there are, were also cases of workers who worked at chicken factories were found to be infected across five provinces 
in the chicken factory sector, such as in s a r a b u r i l o b u r i Ayutthaya, and n a k o n r a c h a s i m a or k o r a t Province. Now, for Bangkok, set the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration is setting to hold a meeting with the 50 district offices and representatives of various workers campsites. To discuss further public health and preventive measures against the ongoing pandemic, and as you recall, we mentioned earlier about the structure that was created. So that work is going on. Also in Bangkok, 85 clusters of infections uh, found to be spreading in six districts, most recently, and new cluster also in the district of Bangkok, Noi. The Uh, Thai language edition of the briefing also talked about the first day of the opening of school, uh, Thai schools, which is was yesterday, the 14th of June. So that kicked off yesterday's, and basically, according to the monitoring uh, process, it went quite well in terms of the measures to prevent COVID, in terms of the cooperation from the schools and as the parents and teachers. And schools are continuing to work together to ensure the safety of the students so far. So it's the second day today, actually, of the opening of classes of Thai uh, Thai schools in Thai schools. There might be some foreign or expat uh, teachers in Thai schools in Thailand, of course. So that's going on well in terms of the prevention measures. So just some additional information on the COVID vaccine developed in Thailand. The Chula c o v 19 by Chula l o n g k o n University. Uh, that they begun the first round of human trials yesterday. Now the 74 volunteer test subjects had the age range of 18 to 55, and also 65 to 75, and will be divided into three groups to receive different doses, in order to test the concentration required. To bring immunity and the formula's effects on the people on with different ages, the second round of trial will be conducted on a larger group, approximately 150 to 300 subjects, up to 300 subjects people in August. If everything goes well, the c h u l a c o v 19 will be the first mRNA type vaccine similar to Pfizer and Moderna vaccines developed uh, by local Thai researchers and and doctors. So just before ending today, I'd like to briefly touch upon the slight uh, glitch that occurred uh, on the ThailandInterVac.com website yesterday, which is run by the Ministry of Public Health. It was brought to our attention that some have been concerned about the uh, technical error, uh, breaching of personal data of those who have registered for vaccine appointments on the website. So when the Ministry of Public Health uh, was informed of this problem, they immediately took action to fix the said malfunction. It uh, was uh, the information was exposed, perhaps only for around a few minutes, and the website is now back uh, in working order, and foreign nationals can now continue to register for vaccination in that uh, website in that platform as normal. And of course. As if you go into that platform, you would see that they have specific times in which you can register uh, for the vaccine. Um, the specific times are not the whole day, and the reason is because there has to be the, of course, the uploading and of course all of the uh, supply of vaccines to be managed. So if you keep tab of the platform itself, you can see that there are specific times which actually work. Uh, in the afternoon, uh, mostly it's in the afternoon, and when the registration of each specific day is full, they would probably uh, close it, and then the, on screen it would come up and say that, and say that you can register on the next day at, for example, 1,200 hours or 1,500 hours. So that's the ThailandInterVac.com platform website. So. Thank you very much for your attention today. As always, if you're planning to step outside today, don't forget to wear your face mask or face shield, and please stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you again tomorrow. So, d e k a p k a p